Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And we have some very cool announcements this week, including a new EC2 G4 instances, which are optimized for machine learning. Amazon Transcribe now supports KMS encryption. AWS DataSync now supports all Amazon S3 storage classes. Amazon Redshift now has automatic workload management and query priorities. And we announced the winner of Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Ryan Cronenberg. And me, Faye Ellis. So AWS have just announced new G4 instances, which are optimized for machine learning and graphic intensive applications. So these instance types are GPU enabled and they use a graphics processing unit rather than a regular CPU. And in the G4, they use the latest generation NVIDIA T4 Tensor Core GPU, which is designed specifically for machine learning and graphics. And these are going to be great for use cases like image classification, recommendation engines, and speech recognition, as well as graphic applications like game streaming and video transcoding and they're basically the fastest instance types that you can use for AWS machine learning workloads. Amazon Transcribe now supports KMS encryption and if you haven't used Transcribe before it's an automatic speech recognition service which enables you to add speech to text capability to your applications and save the output to a text file. So from this week you can now use your own encryption keys using KMS to encrypt the output from Transcribe when stored in S3. So this gives you a lot more flexibility and control around how you protect your transcribed files. And it's also supported in all regions where Transcribe is available and at no additional cost. So AWS DataSync now supports all S3 storage classes. And if you haven't used DataSync before, it's a data migration service which automates and accelerates the transfer of data between NFS or SMB file servers to AWS services like S3 and Elastic File System or EFS. So you can now transfer your data directly to any S3 storage class and select the most cost-effective storage class for your data. And they've also introduced additional controls to prevent accidental overwrites as well as data integrity checks to verify your data after the transfer has been completed. Amazon Redshift now has automatic workload management and query priorities. And if you haven't used Redshift before, it's a fully managed data warehouse which allows you to analyze your data using standard SQL as well as your existing business intelligence tools. And they've now introduced automatic workload management, which uses machine learning to dynamically manage memory usage and concurrency in order to maximize query throughput and performance. And you can now also easily set the priority of your most important queries so that critical workloads take precedent over lower priority tasks even when hundreds of queries are being submitted. So onto the winner of Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week is C. And the person with the best answer is Bill Bartlett. And Bill is a solutions principal at Slalom Consulting in the United States. So congratulations, Bill. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on the way to you in the post. And you're also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2020. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our forum. And that's all from us. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep, Keep being awesome, awesome Cloud, Cloud Gurus, and we'll see you next time.